Hi, Dan Grieve here, Head Professional at Woburn Golf Club, here to talk about some of the latest technologies in the Golf Pride Grips. Now, Grips, obviously, it's the only connection that we have with the golf club, okay? It's absolutely vital that we get this right in terms of thickness and in terms of feel as well. There's no real right and wrong. Some golfers might suit slightly different grips than others, but it's really important you get the feel of it, you try some. Good idea to perhaps just get one on the club and just try one for a while, okay? Rather than getting the full set done because it is such a sort of a natural feel to you. So this is um, a favorite of mine over the years. This is the, the multi-compound grip. It's a hybrid grip because it's kind of split into two. They have the slightly harder corded um, material at the top and a nice soft compound on the bottom, which I really particularly like for short game because it allows your non-glove hand there to really feel uh, the softer material, which is going to be a lot more performance around the greens in terms of touch and feel rather than it feeling too hard all the way down. Okay, so, but it also gives you the, um, you know, the feel of a, of a bit more of a cord and a bit more of a, of a firmer compound at the top for when it's raining or for the full swing as well. You get the benefit of both. Now, and this is a CPX, which is a new grip, and I really like the feel of this because it's super soft and, and it's the softest grip in the range, and it almost feels a little bit sticky. So, when you feel it, you feel like you've really got hold of the club, which um, allows you then to grip a little bit softer because it really sort of nestles and sticks into your hands. So the short game in particular, I really like the feel of this. And you know, for some players, it might be an option of having different grips. You might have this grip for your wedges. You might have a different grip for the, for the long game. Some players might like this grip all the way through the bag because you know, perhaps if you, um, you do suffer with a little bit of grip pressure in terms of getting too tight, I think if you had this grip in your bag, I think it's really going to encourage a lighter grip and a lot more flow in the swing. So this is a grip I would definitely recommend you try. It feels totally different to anything I've sort of felt before. So um, I'd recommend you give that a go for sure. Uh, we've then got the plus four. Now this is an interesting grip because most grips taper inwards, whereas this grip retains the same thickness all the way down. It's called plus four because it's designed to sort of simulate having four extra layers on the bottom hand on the lower section of the grip. So. If you're a golfer who tends to get a little bit flippy, a little bit perhaps nervous in the short game, then having a bit more thickness on the bottom hand there will give you a little bit more touch and feel and, and try and take out some of that flip at the bottom, okay? So um, the benefits of this are also, it's, it's good for, um, for players who have slightly larger hands as well, okay? So if you're getting that little bit of a flip at the bottom in full swing as well, worth, uh, worth trying to slow that bottom hand down. And then we have the a line which is this line that runs down the, the back of the grip there, which is slightly raised, it's slightly ribbed if you like as well. And when you position the club down on the ground, you can feel that rib, uh, that uh, line running through the back of the fingers, which gives you a great feel for, for the correct positioning of the hand. So if you're a golfer who struggles with the grip, perhaps you're a little bit weak or you're a bit strong, you'll feel where that, that line runs and where it should run. So it's gonna give you some feedback if you're trying to improve your grip. Also in terms of opening the club face up, say for a bunker shot, you open the face first, then grip it, you feel your line move. So it gives you that feedback as to where it moves rather than just twisting it incorrectly, which is a common fault in the short game. So lots of options. As I say, there's no right and wrong. It's a really good idea for you to try one or two. Okay, perhaps have a different type of grip for different sections of the game, long game or short game. But really over to you to try a few. Those are some of the benefits that could help your game.